Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's nice to see you once again. Today is Friday, that is very good. One more week and we finish this module. Am I how fast? Okay, so I'm going to check about class. So this is the class of tonight. Okay, and this is the exercise. Okay, so what you need to do is to check what will be there. The current one says, go over the following definitions about body language while video conferencing and match them with the term. Okay. Body language and actually the first part of the class, we're going to watch a video about that. One. So that would be it. And then we finish this part, the unit number three. Okay. So we are going to check the attendance. Let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdávez. Here, good evening. Good evening. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palva. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Presente ya. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Presente ya. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Presente. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good. Okay. Oh, I see Manuel came already. Let me just check that. All right. Very good. So we are going to start the class with a little video that is about body language when you are present. Okay. It's going to be uh, the same. We're going to check the video and then provide opinions, check the Everything that it has to be with that one. Teacher, good night. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> uh, press it. <laughs> good, good. Yes, I got you here. Thank Very good. You. Okay. So let's check them together. Here we go. One of the big issues that many people have when speaking in public is what to do with these things. People get very self conscious about their hands. And for me, it's very simple. When you're speaking in public, it's just a modified form of conversation. And in the same way that you would gesture when you're speaking uh, in a conversation with people at the coffee point or just uh, over the water cooler, so you would gesture when you're presenting. So you might mark ideas out in space. You might say, well, in the past we used to do this, and in the future we will do this. And there'll be a period of transition. If you're presenting some ideas about products or services, you might show them the relative position. So you might say that this is the most important thing that we have. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's very high quality, but it will cost you. This is very cheap and cheerful. It's got all the must-have, but none of the frills. And many people will go for this, which is the middle-priced option and very popular. But if you're gesturing all the time, it'll get very tiring for people. So you need to have somewhere that your hands know to go when you're not presenting. Now some people, you'll see they have their hands behind the back. And this just looks very formal. It can look, remind people of the military, maybe a lecturer, uh, maybe even of Prince Charles uh, of the English royal family. So, and when you start to gesture, the hands come forward and back and it seems very strange. Other people will put their hands in the pockets. Now this can look very casual, which can be good if you're speaking to colleagues or to friends, but in certain situations it can look as a bit casual, even as if you come across a little bit cocky. 
Some people put their hands on their hips, and this can come across as arrogant um, and even overconfident and can have a negative perception. So one thing you do want to do is avoid anything that might be considered defensive. We all know that folding your arms suggests to people that you're closed off from them. And certainly that's something you wouldn't want to do when you're presenting. But even if you just cross your arms across your body, which is what you often see people do, and occasionally they'll start to rub uh, the side of their arm in a kind of self-pacifying gesture. So you need to avoid that. The worst probably is to have your hands down here. Uh, which is a very defensive posture. And then sometimes you see people starting to gesture like this, and it's something we call the fig leaf flasher. So now I'd like to explain something to you, and it can look very humorous as far as people are concerned. So if you're not going to do that with your hands, what are you going to do? The secret is to have a resting position that feels comfortable and looks great as far as the audience is concerned. Many presenters just put their arm, arms down by the side, and then just bring them up and gesture as and when they need to, and then let them come back here. That looks great, but not everybody feels comfortable. It can seem a little bit exposed. If you watch reporters on TV, typically they will have a hand somewhere just above the belt. Uh, they might just be resting one hand in another or touching. Either of those work really well. You can make a range of gestures. We can come together. You can make strong gestures towards uh, the audience and then the hands just come back to rest. So just think that as a baseline position. And it's very comfortable. You can just allow your arms to sit across your hips and you can hold that for a period of time. So the important thing here is to allow your hands to gesture as they would in normal conversation. But you don't want them floating and hanging in space. It can look very unnatural. So you make your gesture, you make your point, and then you just bring your hands down to rest. So, and once you've got that, you no longer need to feel self-conscious at all about your hands when you're presenting. Okay, what did you get from this? Anybody? Any opinions, comments? Uh, Good evening, everybody. Uh, I I could see the 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 gestures it with hands. Uh, it's natural uh, when when we are. Uh, talking in public, or maybe in a in a presentation, uh, in maybe it's a different presentation, a business presentation, new product, a, a monthly meeting. I don't know, but it's normal. In my case, I, I, I consider it's normal uh, uh, the, the first minute uh, we, we, can, we can be um, nervous, right? But the, the gestures or the, the way we uh, handle our arms and hands. Uh, I understood that uh, people's uh, cell uh, is uh, very important because uh, the different position. Uh, I, I I I I consider down of. Uh, how do you say, teacher, uh, the cintura? Uh, there is the hip. The? Hip. Hip, okay. Uh, like a, a robot. <laughs> uh, don't, uh, the hands don't be in our pocket, uh, behind or uh, back. Um, it, our hands starts uh, talking. Uh, about my my confidence 
my nature uh, in this moment. And I consider when I had the uh, opportunity to, to speak in public, the use of my hands helped me to be, to, 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 to be make sure that I, I, I speak about my speech. I consider that. Okay, very good. So that is it. I mean, a body language, right? When you're presenting. Body language, yes. Yeah, your body says many things, right? So that is very interesting. Any other uh, opinion or comment? Teacher, uh, I understood that he called about how important is to maintain correct posture when talking with uh, other people from the other, they introduce them and the way of moving the hands. Okay, very good, perfect. So that, that is it. When you're speaking, the way that you move your hands, I mean, we always move our hands. All the hands are has to be in some place. So depending on what you do, that is going to reflect something for the people that is listening to you, right? Uh, any other opinion or comment? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hi, good evening. Okay. In my opinion, teacher, the the movement movement of the body in general, the hands, your arms, um, in a presentation. It's necessary, but the moderate way, because um, you look more flexible during the presentation, but no, it's not uh, good when your movement are um, exagger exaggerate, exaggerate, exaggerate. Yes. Exaggerous, or uh, you look rigid, rigid is rigid. rigid, yeah, rigid, rigid. Uh, because the perception is that um, you are not uh, accessible, 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 yeah, accessible, yeah, but the. In my opinion, in my case, I I use a lot of my hands <laughs> in my case, but I need to to have more control for for um, in my expression are very exaggerate with my hands, but I need to try to more control, but I believe that is necessary a uh, balance. Thank you, teacher, that's it. Thank you very much. So yeah, you're right. So it's good to reflect, to move your arms or, uh, yeah, the arms is the most common, right? Uh, but of course, you don't need to exaggerate because that is going to cause uh, a different impression, right? So to, uh, to the audience. Any other opinion or comments for the video? Okay, so the purpose of the video is that one. I mean, I, I know that you know, but sometimes we need to remember, right? The way that we're going to, to use the body language when you speak. So hands is the most common, right? Or eye contact. So when you are in a presentation, you need to have an eye contact with other people, not just with one people, but with the rest of the audience in general. So the same happens with the hands. So if you, put the hands in certain position or you move them in certain position, the audience will, will feel something there, right? Something good or something bad. That is independent from what you're saying, but it's going to be linked. I mean, if you do something with your hands that is not proper, 
people might believe that what you're saying is not true. Maybe you uh, you didn't research very well. I don't know. Many things can happen. So that's why body language is something that we need to be careful. So we we can uh, re reflect a, a very nice posture that is okay. going to uh, go ahead. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes, I consider the, uh, our movement uh, uh, for 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 my hand, for example, is this a, a little part uh, that indicate uh, my uh, my uh, if I I am confident, uh, but. I consider the body language is our gestures, uh, the uh, my body, right? But because it's necessary, right? To 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 feel, uh, to feel flexible, to feel, uh, for example, free, uh, may, uh, to be sure, and the body language is I consider is a. Uh, no, in a in a in a uh, a part of uh, move in in a in a little uh, space when I I am uh, how do you say parado? Uh, stood up. Stood up. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, stood up. Yes. And but if we if only if we only move or or hands or arms is better is better this is the, the i consider is the is the first part <laughs> yeah. uh, yes or, or hands and, and then uh, we can move our hands or gestures move or i don't know yes it's a part of a, a good presentation but the, the the hands is important for me is the the first part yeah, that is the one that reflects more in the, in the body language, right? So, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting because it's something that some people, they do naturally, and some other people, we need to learn, right? We need to learn the way that you are going to present. Uh, it's very, very definitely. Very good, very good. So, we're going to start with the homeworks of tonight. Nice. First, only the words, okay? The two or three words. And then we're going to check what you are going to teach. I want to I want to learn from you. So tonight is the night. Okay, so um, for the words, who wants to present the first two or three words? Me teacher. Me teacher. Uh, okay. Please, sorry. Okay. Este, my first word is legally. And such as a well might happen or be true. Example, it was likely that he would make a statement. Synonyms, like it. Like it. Uh, synonyms, yeah. uh, fire, fire, possible, expected. And the second word, chap chapter, a division of a book. Example, um, I took the leader of my chapter from one of my favorite songs and synonym section and topic. And the three words, Isai, Isai teacher? Mm -hmm. Isai, yeah. Uh -huh. A short size of a reading on a subject done as an exercise. Example, he was asked to write an essay about his hometown and synonym article and composition. Very good, very nice presentation because you brought some synonyms sometimes that is necessary for us to understand the words. Very good, Manuel is the next one. Okay, here we go. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I like the 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 terms we have in in, in this uh, unit unit three for me is new right that that's why I 
I search information and I like it. Uh, I like them. And the first uh, term is to get frame. Uh, uh, the, the meaning uh, uh, for one, one meaning is if someone say that you have been framed, that means someone has put the, the blame on you for something that uh, you didn't do uh, to get framed. And one example, it will be is what framed despite my evident innocence. Innocence. Innocence, yeah. Innocence, okay, thank you. And the second one is, is a lean, lean technologies. Right, uh, uh, a meaning of this term is a customer value focus approach to the provision or effective solutions involving the consumption of a minimum of source. In other words, is a use a minimum use a, a minimum waste of time of of research. And one example will be a, a, yes, a, for example, in a meeting in a meeting. Uh, we we use a lean technology to 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 waste the, the the less the less time right and the the other word is uh, or the other term is a uh, uh, to neglect okay uh, what is the bear or or, or neglect well, it's, it, as, as a bear, neglect can also mean to to fail to do something. And so just a true uh, uh, indifferent, uh, thoughtlessness or carelessness. And one example is uh, the short yard uh, has been sadly neglected. Uh, this is my, my, my word teacher. Very good, perfect, very interesting, very nice, very complete, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, who wants to be the next one? Okay, me teacher. Good, good. Uh, the first word is uh, sustainable. Uh, definition is um, able to continue to continue over period of time. Example, solution put in place now must be sustainable. Number four is prompts. A definition to make something happen. Example, I forgot my line and had to be prompted. And number three, words is transparently transparently definition is in a way that is clear and easy to understand or recognize example what she say was transparently untrue finish okay very good perfect thank you gloria that was very good as well nice who wants to be the next one is the question. Okay, I guess I will choose. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Susana Beatriz, oh, please. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, <clears throat> a track, a narrow, but a road, uh, a path often circular. Uh, for example, we follow with a drink track of the main road. And second word 
traveler. Uh, it's a bear to walk uh, on something, usually damaging it. <clears throat> uh, she shooted at the boys from trampling or her flowers. A uh, tournament is now competition at tennis tournament. Only that, teacher. <laughs> okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see now, Rosalina. Okay, teacher. This week, I can, I read many words in, in the lectures, but I don't say not. But I have, uh, I have a dictionary that every day sends me a new word. Sometimes there are worth many. Oh my God. And I say, why is it that? Because there are some words that are special, but I have some of them. For example, okay. let me here. I choose this. Okay. After, let me aftermath. Yes, aftermath. Aftermath uh, means uh, refers to the period of time shortly following a destructive event or to a negative consequence or result. An example is uh, uh, if we almost know before, I feel ready to clean out the mess that remained in the aftermath of the previous night's festivities. This is an example, the word aftermath. There's another word here and that I have is, um, is okay, wistful, wistful. And that word means, okay, to be wistful, it used to be full or to be full of or to inspire or desire tingle with melancholy. Which full can also mean suggestive or self-thoughtfulness. And there's a, an example. As the car pulled away, Leah cast one last wistful glance at the house where she spent so many happy years. This is an example using the word wistful. Okay. And I have another word here. Yeah. Auspicious. Uh, auspicious. Something described, described as auspicious is full of promise. Showing or suggesting that future success or good results are likely. Auspicious can also mean attended by good fortune. An example of the word, the word is um, the young session, the young session's auspicious debut album revealed her songwriting has already more accomplished than than that of artists twice, her age and sex. That's the worst. Right. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Rosa, Elena. So okay. it was very good. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Well, I don't know if there's a volunteer, but. Me, teacher. Good. Good evening. Good evening. And... Uh, my first word is doggy. Ref refer to someone or, or something begin evasive or questionable. Example, that scene is doggy. The next word is gurer. This word is meant to be a sad. Example, I feel very gurer. The next word is book. 
is stand for money and dollars. Example, can you give me some books? And last one, podunk. It is a word that means that something is a small, boring, unimportant. This was this word is regularly reserved for a small thumbs. Example, that thumb is pretty podunk. Very good, nice words, very interesting. Thank you very much. Lots of vocabulary, right? That's very interesting. In mind, every time we learn three words from uh, the other students every week. So that is amazing. Who wants to be the next one is the question. Me, teacher. Okay. My words is the acronym, acronym SMART. Okay. Um, what is the means in each letter? A specific. What is a specific? A specific is an adjective. Um, describe the, the, the noun. Yeah. A specific is clearer, clear, clearly, clearly defined or it or identified. A measurable. Measurable is adjective to and the mean is uh, able to be measured is um, the means is you need to to uh, quantify quantify uh, the if you get on or not your goal for example and the other uh, is attain attainable attainable is other adjective and the meaning um, is able to be attained or at uh, achievable Ach achievable yeah achievable right achievable and uh, the other is relevant it's other um is other adjective and the meaning is closely connected or appropriated to what is being done or considered but the relevant in general is important it's important thing or, or fat or what is the important result relevant and the other characteristics of the when you define a goal is the line is the time limited is say uh, the meaning is the term when you wait to achieve the goal okay. very good thank you yeah this is a very good one because yeah, nowadays it's very popular in some companies to design the goals for any plan, for anything that they want to do in this way. It has to be smart, meaning that has to be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant. And we say in the company, we say time bound, time is the same time limit. So, very good, perfect. Uh, okay, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Good. Okay. Uh, number one, the progress is to carry out and everything to implant it in the meetings, the time, the expected results. And the second one, analyze it. and examine a uh, thing in the time and separate it. Or considering its part, uh, separate to now is a characteristics or qualities or, or is a state and draw a conclusion. Uh, and three more. 
uh, examiner. Is that the explain or clarify the meaning of the something especially text that or clear, for example, and when the meaning uh, hit many many things uh, that are not explained good is a people uh, there are there are some things is a uh, uh, no understand okay finish very good perfect thank you nice words as well that's of course i really like it who wants to be the next one Good. The Wendy. three words and the topic. Only, Only the three words. Only three words. Okay. My name <laughs> Okay. Uh, the first word, uh, achieve, is equal rich. Rich? Rich, yeah. For example, I achieve the goal in my work. Okay. Outcome. It is the same goal. For example, goal. It, this strategy give good outcome. It, other other thing um framework. Framework is same is the same structure. Structure. For example, the building was a good framework very good perfect thank you very much wendy interesting uh who wants to be the next one me teacher good seriously um server and um, server is a set of computer capable of serving client request and return a response uh, response accordingly and second word, graph. Oh, one moment. Graph. It, it is a type of art in which you work man, mainly with your hands, molding various objects or commercial or merely artistic or creative purpose. Okay. Only. Very good, interesting. Thank you, uh, Silvia Suleyma. Um, let's move on. Anybody else wants to be the next one? Okay, I choose then. Maria Elena. Mm, give me a moment, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, no worries. Uh, let's see who hasn't. Um, my, for my base, no possible, I guess. Edwin Alexander. Not possible either. Mario Vigeda. Not possible. Who's missing? Susana Hernandez. Give me a moment, please. I okay. need to something. Okay. Well, I guess we don't have other people that is missing. <laughs> we need to wait. Don't worry. Let's wait a little moment. But in the meantime, uh, have you realized how many words we have checked? I mean, in three weeks, four weeks, a lot of words. So I hope, I mean, maybe not that you know all the words and remember all the words, but if you remember five words, new words, that is good enough, okay? Remember also that whenever we check vocabulary, the, the interesting part is to try to use those words, okay? Uh, that is very, very important. But other than that, uh, we're doing a very good job. Also, I'm looking forward to, to check what you are going to train uh, that is something that I really want to see. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Uh, well, um, 
I don't know if Maria Elena and or Susana are ready. You not ready? I don't know. Not yet. I will tell some jokes in the meantime. Ah. Jokes are very good. But in English, it's kind of difficult sometimes, right? Because you need to be related to, I mean, many things. Uh, actually, we have some some riddles. Um, let me see if we can check some. Do you know what is a riddle? By any chance? No, teacher. Yes. yes. Good. Yeah, it's like guessing, right? I will tell you yes. something, and then you are and going to guess. tell me. Ah, we have to. We have to guess. What are you talking about? Okay. Let's what is play the word, a... teacher? I'm sorry. What is the word? Riddles. Ah, there is a new word. I'm going to show you that one. I'm going to type it here in the okay, thank you. In the chat. Riddle. It, 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 it's like guess. It's like a guess. It's like yeah, when I say something yeah. and you try to uh to figure it out. What is um, going to be the, the answer? Okay, riddle. so for oh, okay. a riddle. So this one is a very easy one. What has to be broken before you can use it? What has to be broken before you can use it? What do you think is that? Maybe uh, an, an egg. Good, that is it, an egg, <laughs> right? You cannot use it if it's not broken. So that is a riddle. <laughs> Let's go another one. Uh, this is a very common one in Spanish, I guess. That My you know. cell phone teacher. <laughs> oh, well. That's not good. So did you? Not good. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, then uh, she, she has a, uh, uh, what do you say, mantequilla, butter. butter. Okay, but butter, butter, butter finger. <laughs> yeah. So that happened to you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! And that happened today. Uh, that's not good. I'm sorry to hear that one. So, okay, the other one, this is a very easy one. What month of the year has 28 days? February, teacher. All the months, right? <laughs> All the months, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All the months have 28. All the months have 20. If you mention yeah. 28, yes. <laughs> yeah, and yes. February has you. only 28 days, but yes. all the months have 28 days. Black, more. The unique month is February. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is it. Yeah, you know, that's why I'm telling you sometimes that depending the way that you express an idea is the way that people are going to understand, right? So that is very interesting. <laughs> Teacher, I have one, I have one. Uh, Let's say. But, but I, 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 I try to, to tell, for example, what is the animal that eat with toe, with a toe? Uh-huh. Every animals? <laughs> Every animal. Because... <laughs> uh, no one, uh, how do you say, guitar teacher? Take off. The cough? Take off. Take, Take off. Cough. Uh, the tail when they are eating. <laughs> yes. only, the, only the first time. In my ah. day, the second <laughs> you I have learned. <laughs> all, animals, uh, all animals eat with the toe, with, with the toe. Okay, very good. Interesting. <laughs> Let's do a few more. Let me see if I can find some other. Ah, uh, this is a good one. What is full of holes but still holds water? Would you repeat, teacher, please? Of course. What is full of holes but still can hold water? Uh, a coconut? No, it's not a coconut. It's full of holes, you know, like holes. Ah, okay, full of holes. What? Okay. Uh -huh. But oh, what? what? 
is full of holes, you know, like uh -huh. holes when you, yeah. and still holds water. It, it hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, I will tell you right now. Is ah uh, expectation. So is a sponge. Ah, okay. The the how do you say poros? Those are holes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, this is not good. Let me see. Okay, what always goes up but never comes down? What always goes up but never comes down? Okay. Uh, the answer the answer that I have here that is kind of silly is your age. Always more, never less, right? <laughs> yes. Let's see what else. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So much kind of strange because of the thing. Mm, no. Oh, this is a good one. I have branches, but no fruit, trunk, or leaves. What am I? I have branches, but no fruit, trunk, or leaves. What am I? The book. Mm, so the book has branches? No. <laughs> uh -huh. I have branches, but no fruits, leaves, leaves, you know, love, the ones from the trees, uh, and no trunk. Okay, I will tell you then. A bank. A bank has many branches. <laughs> the joke here is that the word is the same, right? It's not, uh, I mean, it's, it's exactly the same. Let me see if I can find one or two more. Let's see. Okay, this is a good one. David's parents have three sons, Snap, Crackle, and what's the name of the third son? Hmm. Uh, repeat, please, teacher. Of course. Listen very carefully. David's parents have three sons. Snap, Crackle, and what is the name of the third son? Baby. A David, very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's David's parents yes. Yes. have three sons, right? So David is the first son, or the third son in this case. Very good. Yeah, active listening is the name of this one. Let's see what else. Any other? Mm. Yeah, some of those are kind of strange. Okay, this is an interesting one. Where does today come before yesterday? Where does today come before yesterday? Uh-huh. 
It's like where yesterday is before today. Is before today. I mean, today is before yesterday. Where today is before yesterday. Okay, this is an easy one, the dictionary, because T is before the Y. That is. <laughs> so there today is before yesterday. Okay, let's stop this. It's not good, right? It's not laughing. <laughs> All right. We are going to check then with Maria Elena. Are you ready, Maria Elena? We made up a commercial for you. <laughs> I cry <laughs> of course um the three works is related with the homework okay and the first work is a uh, spacey 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 is to refer um dry seed free root or bark or other plant substance used to enhance the flavor of the food. In the space, uh, the all people use it uh, continental <laughs> or other commercial, but this space is referred other is natural and harvest is the process of gathering or collecting crops or plants when they have a rich uh, maturity and seasoning seasoning refer to process to adding salts herbs, spices, or other flavors to enhance the tasting of the food. Okay, very good, perfect. Very, very interesting. Thank you, Marina. And to finish, Susana Hernandez. Okay, hi. No. I'm sorry, I apologize, teacher. Please pardon my I want to be on time, but I couldn't. Don't worry, we understand. Okay, I had intentions of talking about something nice, something pretty, and different. Um, but I I don't I don't finish the homework. I don't finish the homework. Okay. These things happened, and I think it's normal because in the work sometimes stuff um could be complicated in a moment, and you you get home and. And here is problems too. And yeah. then only you have is your attitude. Your attitude um, and the hope that everything is going to be okay someday. Not today, but tomorrow maybe. And yeah. something more important than your family and your work. And the in the everything else is yourself. Only you is the most important. Before I got home, I I buy uh, I eat ice cream only for me. And um, I park it, park it. I was alone in my car. I thinking, I crying. And and it was it was good. I really need that. Okay. Yeah, we totally understand that. Go ahead. I stopped it today. Okay. Only that teacher. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. You don't have to apologize. That one, I mean, life is difficult sometimes. We totally understand it. We all have moments where we want to give up, right? We say, this is enough. But it's good what you did. Stop. We need to stop sometimes, breathe. It's good to cry. I mean, to to get out 
all the things that you feel that is very very okay and uh, yeah problems there are always problems i mean there is always a solution for everything sometimes we we, we just need to stop stop for today and tomorrow is going to be another day and then try to fix things right so uh, we are with you i mean thank you for sharing we send you a big hug okay and uh, let's continue with this okay <laughs> very good my friends so let me just check just check something here real quick Okay, so uh, we are going to continue with the second homework. Okay, so uh, it's about teaching anything that you want to teach to the class. That will be it. So the question again is who wants to be the first one? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. I want to be the first one. Okay, go ahead, Manuel, and then one. Okay, very good. Uh, here we go. Uh, who likes pizza? Who likes pizza? I I really like uh, pizza. Okay, I I love pizza. <laughs> okay, very good. And if you like pizza, uh, like me, very good. But in my case, uh, I like. Uh, uh, with the uh, food without uh, without uh, excess of fat, right? Normally, pizza uh, is fat, uh, uh, a lot of uh, oil, uh, fat. But if you like uh, pizza, uh, I'm going to to tell you how I I make. Uh, homemade pizza. Uh, there are different ways to to create uh, to to be creative with a uh, cooking pizza, but in my case, it's a uh, easier, and you you need uh, uh, a a few ingredients and. Uh, in my case, uh, I, I I I go to the supermarket or, or yes supermarket, and the first ingredient uh, that I I I buy is a uh, Arab bread. The the next ingredient are uh, a natural tomato sauce can. Mozzarella cheese, purple and white onion rings, uh, pineapple chunks, uh, pieces of green and red chili. Uh, and the last one is a pinch of pepper. Uh, the, if you have a, a, a oven, if you have a oven, uh, firstly, you, 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 you need to re reheat uh, three, 355 Fahrenheit grade. And, and the, the next step is uh, put a natural tomato sauce in all parts of the uh, Arab bread and then put all the ingredients, uh, onions, uh, the chili, uh, the mozzarella cheese, and a pinch of, of pepper uh, to, how do you say, al gusto? Uh, a taste. A ah, taste, okay. And finally, you, you can cook, you can cook, uh, three or five minutes uh, is up to the size of pizza, you know, and then 
uh, you had a hot and ready pizza, homemade pizza, and put it on a on a on a top on a recipient, and then enjoy. It. <laughs> uh, just just one thing. In my case, I don't have I don't have a uh, oven, but my uh, older sister sister uh, make pupusas. <laughs> And I put it down on the planche, on the, the plancha. Uh, that is a very good thing. I don't know how to say <laughs> that. <laughs> but but I, I don't need I don't need oven, but I I I I, I put it put it on down of the uh, how do you say superficie? On the surface. On the, okay, thank you. And the, down the surface is hot, and I have in three minutes uh uh delicious pizza, a healthy pizza without uh, fat, uh, without excess of oil, very well for me. Okay, that's all. Thank you for, for, for your attention. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. You know, I have never cooked pizza. It's, uh, it's easier, teacher. It's easier, yes. Okay, so I, I need to give it a try because I really like to cook, but I have yes, never done uh, you, you You can uh, full ingredients if you can. Or a, a a few ingredients is your a, a choice. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you for the recipe. Very nice. <laughs> now we we'll say when, right? Okay, uh, I speak with travel. It's my favorite topic. <laughs> and the the first step is choose that theory of the country you travel. For example, uh, you travel Central America, South America, and uh, Europe or North America. You travel uh, at North America, you need American visa. And you travel only in North America, uh, for example, um, Canada, only Canadian, can, Canadian, Canadian, visa. Mm -hmm. Canadian, sorry, Canadian visa, and only you travel, for example, only Mexico, uh, you need Mexican visa or American visa, and other, um, other. Other countries, for example, South America and Central America, you need them. You do not need need the visa. Um, it's important. Uh, you know, um, for example, you travel North America, South America, and Central America. Uh, you choose the airline, uh, Avianca, Delta, United, American, and Volaris. And you fly, for example, in Europe, you choose Iberia travel or, no, sorry, Iber airline Iberia or Air Europe. For example, uh, only Me Mexico, you need a Mexican visa or an American visa. And you travel, for example, Polaris or or Aero Mexico. And it's important you know the types of prices. For example, you travel only personal article in carry on. You travel with basic economy. It's important you do not do not. Choose no, do not change your travel in the basic economy. Only other price is more is more price because you 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 um is permitted is permitted um change you you travel you fly and. For example, in basic economy, 
Uh, you travel with carry on. The carry on the the is of twenty two pounds. Uh, personal article, for example, a bag, or for example, um, is it not not a bag? Is um personal. If, for example, 10, 10 pounds, article of 10 pounds, and you you travel other place, other places, uh, not basic economy, you travel with personal article, carry on of, of 22 pounds, and about of 50 pounds. Um, it's important. It's important checking in the air um, in the air in the airline. And it's important uh you direct um no no you travel in in fly in direct flight or step step in other city oh and yes that, that is is a is a more important for you travel okay and, uh, go ahead uh yeah i if, for example, you travel at Roatan, uh, I package, package only all, include all, the fly, the hotel, uh, translate, and all, all full times. Only that. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. That is an interesting topic. Anybody has a question for Wendy? No questions. Good. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Good. Then I tell you. Uh, cool. Cool. I share my presentation, teacher. Of course, definitely you can. Thanks. Um, okay. Please confirm if you see my presentation. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Thanks. In my case, my topic is financing topic. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, it's related to the steps uh, that you need to consider when you create a personal object. Okay, the first step, make a list of all income for the month. It's important that you, uh, that you get the information related to what is the mo amount, the, the, um, the currency amount, currency amount is the first step. The second step, Classify expenses, expenses into fixed, fixed and viable. What is the fixed expenses? Mm -hmm. All expenses that change the amount in the month depending your consume. For example, the energy, water. Uh, for example, the, the entertainment expenses, but depend the, 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 what is your decision and consume, consume. Um, yes. What is the variable expenses? The, the fixed, fixed expenses, I'm sorry. Uh, fixed expenses, and the first is the variable expenses, I'm sorry. Um, 
for the it's important the clarification. The variable depend of the consume. The fix the is all expensive that the amount is the same in the independent the the your consume. For example, the a the college work what okay. is, is right oh yeah. scholarship uh, no uh, the, the like amount the you pay in for the the education your children so for your own education yeah. the other fixed expenses is the when you pay the for you loan personal loans or the amount of the I do say hypotheca teacher with no it's mortgage mort 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 mortgage for the amount of mortgage. This is a good example of fixed expenses because independent we need to pay the same amount. The three steps is related to consider savings as a reserve of fund. This is that is the amount of savings should be a fixed goal or um or is the amount you for the for in front when you in front of the for example, the how you say imprevistos teacher in um, imprevistos or uh, there's a word for that one, but any uh, unpredictable events. Unpredictable events, exactly. Unpredictable events. In general, it's important to consider the insurance topics related to unpredictable events, but is is a good tip that you have a reserve, a fund for unpredictable uh, events. Uh, in general, the recommendation is 10% related to the, the income, but uh, it's important that a uh, point is independent um, of amount, but the important is uh, create a new culture related to the save uh, part of your income is, is discipline. Discipline uh, is very important because it's a, a positive, a positive financial a culture and the other step is related to identify identify what the money has been or will be spent on with the purpose of eliminating unnecessary expenses for the budget it's important but it's necessary to be very honest is a key and the other determine monthly availability is what it means. It's important to compare the amount of your income with versus uh, the amount of your expenses. Okay. Um, the tips in general. Uh, it's necessary when you create your personal budget that you um, you you be you will be no honest you okay. to say honesto you, that you that you are honest yes you are honest impressive you are honest and it's important to uh, Recognize, recognize, recognize uh, all the expense we incur. All, however small, small they may seem, 
because it's necessary to know what is the real amount, the, the amount real, no, real amount, yes? Real amount. Real amount. And the finish is very, very convenient to write down all the expenses in the way you prefer in an agenda or calendar today. Um, there are many sites on the web that provide uh, the tools for your help related to the organize your your uh, your pay payment your payment and record the due date of all payments of the calendar. In, it's important for the relax uh, it's a good tip because when when the uh, companies call called you about that uh, please um, you have two two days and due uh, no due dates due dates payment mm -hmm. in your payment <laughs> is the impact for your health and for your uh, for your calm mm -hmm. yeah, it's not good it's not good it's important to prepare to anticipate when that possible yeah and it also involves your family it's very important because in the case you share your your income and expenses con with your family is important to involve and show what is the amount uh, you're expensing in the in the month. And for example, teaching in the case of the children in the house, uh, frequently they don't have an idea of what is the amount of the expensive the in, in in the house it is important to create um, a real a, a real environment related to expenses. That's it, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, classmate. Okay, very good. Interesting. So, uh, anybody has a question for Anselm? Okay. You can so, help me for organizing my house. Oh, how do you say that? Debt. Debt. Okay, and I said me you can help me. Yes. <laughs> for organizing yes. my money. <laughs> yes, we'll see. How do you say I am in your order is right, teacher? I'm a, I'm at your order. I'm sorry? I'm at your order. I am in your in your order. At your order. At your at. Yeah. Yes, Susie. Okay, I thank you. Call you the next week. Your order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Very good. Very Pleasure. interesting. Mm -hmm. So this is actually very important what Anastasia has shown. Um, I know that sometimes it's difficult, but e everybody can do that. I mean, uh, maybe the most difficult part is is the saving, right? Because yeah, I believe that sometimes we say this is to pay this, to pay the other things. Um, but it's important to say why, because we never know what's going to happen. Very good, thank you. Who wants to be that next one? Me, teacher. Good. Okay. I talk about uh choco banana receipt. <laughs> Okay. Choco bananas are one of those desserts that remind you of the childhood and summer, as they are a perfect treat to a piece they hit while you enjoy the classic combination of banana with chocolate. Also, they are very colorful and seem very elaborate. They are super simple to make with chips ingredients that are easy to find. Step one, 
because the bananas in helpers in your bananas are small, you can skip this step and use one wolf banana per choco banana. Stick a pellet or two pigs into each half and remove the skin. Leave the one plate and take the two freezer for about four hours. Take them out of the freezer and prepare the chocolate. You can melt in, in a water bath or microwave. If you do it in the microwave, melt it in 20 second inter intervals. Take it out and stir it so it smells properly and doesn't burn. Continue until completely mel melted. Prepare the ingredients to assemble your choco banana. Place the, place the banana, melted chocolate, and any topping you want to use on a war table. Dip the bananas in the chocolate and cover them completely with the help of, of a spoon. Add the topping you want. You can use color shavings, chopped almonds and shattered coconut, but you can use pen, pen out, pen out? chocolate peanut, chocolate chips, colors a star or any extra you like. Once ready, refrigerate the choco bananas for one or two hours more and enjoy the cool and refreshing dessert. Very good, interesting, nice. I have never done that either. So it sounds like a very good idea. You can put some things that that, that is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Easy recipe. <laughs> good, that's good. Anybody has a question for? Her? You can do that with watermelon, with oh, yes. grapes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I remember that too. He come up with chocolate. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. That sounds you... interesting. <laughs> Very good, perfect. Thank you, Carla. Okay, thank you. Good. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Good. Let's listen to Walter. Okay. The topic is a uh, sport. Uh, uh, according to the specialist, uh, physical and sport activity in addition to reducing the stress, a sleep disorder, uh, depression, and anxiety or anxiety, another disorder, and also reduce the risk or suffering from some. So from some health problem, but uh, physical and mental should unstated on the tension is a uh, antiethic. Uh, what is the benefits the the practice the support and growing regular physical like activity in hell keep your thinking or learning and judgment skill strong over the years. I it can also reduce reduce your risk or depression and ash ash will has helped you sleep better. Other other benefits, sport, and teach and values should as a fairness in homework, uh, equality, discipline, inclusion, perseverance, and respect. For example, teacher. Uh, I had uh, 41 years my uh, 
allá en, en Norway a de practice de sport en Agnum en Agnum en en, en after de my lunch is a uh, 24 25 25 minutes is a practice sport and bicycle and levantamiento de pesas how do you say uh, weightlifting you need a gym weightlifting mm -hmm. ah, okay okay I practice gym is a uh, a good life uh, I uh, in my case and after uh, the do you not know the practice the exercise and I feel a uh, a seat a uh, uh, a different different things in my body and then at the practice the gym is a uh, a good a different my body and good always. This I recommend the and if you can the practice the gyms a gym or exercise different sport uh basketball soccer and difference it's a uh, good and all light okay very good perfect good topic sports are important in life i mean they're very popular in and yeah it's going to keep you healthy anybody has a question for walter no questions good so who wants to be the next one me teacher good Rosalena. okay i'm going to it's my presentation is i think i i hope to know where are you <laughs> i know I'm going I don't to go ahead <laughs> okay i'm going to try uh, to to speak faster <laughs> and don't worry okay go ahead okay i have a um, okay let me my how to how to I can see my how to I, I have to move this bar in here. Okay. How to prepare for a public speaking event. Okay, follow these steps to prepare for your public speaking event. Uh, know your audience, familiarize familiarize yourself with the environment. Outline the main points. Have some have some review your speech. Practice on your own. Incorporate your hands. Use a mirror. Record yourself practicing. Rehearse in front of someone. Make use of the stage. Anticipate questions and prepare answers. Prepare your technology and set a practice limit. I'm going to try. Okay. The first one is know your audience. Knowing your audience helps you figure it out how to adjust your speech and your presentation. Considering your audience aids your decisions in what kind of language you use, how long your speech is, and what topics are appropriate. Make sure this meeting is enjoyable and the information you provide is useful to your specific audience. Familiarize yourself with the environment. Try to visualize your surroundings and how the event will look like the day of. Try to get as much information as possible about where you will be presenting. Check to see if you will be on the stage and if you will have a podium or microphone. Be aware of how you will need to get to the location, especially if it is a large, larger event. Consider spaces such as 
backstage or different entrances, you may need to use a speak as a speaker. Prepare materials and supplies beforehand, such as water, your computer, a notebook, and a pen. Outline the main points. Outline the main points of your speech, make your presentation focus and organize. Try to use these main points as the foundation of your speech. Consider aligning your speech with keywords. Keywords are beneficial because they are easy to remember and work well with an outline. You can easily glance at your notes and see specific keywords that help you stay focused. Have someone review your speech. Once you have written down your speech, give it to a trusted friend or coworker to read. Getting another perspective can help you identify areas of improvement. Ask them to make notes or change to help with the flow and content. Practice on your own own. Find out how much time you have for your speech. When practicing, make sure to time yourself from start to finish and read the entire speech several times. For the first few times, feel free to use note cards or a script, but once you get comfortable, try only using these resources when you forget a line. This can help you make more eye contact with your audience, which helps engage them. Incorporate your hands. Using hand gestures to explain points in your speech can be useful. Not only will, will, you, will you better engage with the audience, but using hand gestures can help you remember moments. For example, if you are explaining audiobooks, you might point to your ears. This link between word and movement can help you remember what you say. Use a mirror. While practicing on your own, set your speech in front of a mirror. This will allow you to see how you will appear to the audience. You can also more easily integrate hand gestures and facial expression when you can see what they look like. Record yourself practicing. Recording video is as easy as opening application on your phone. Take advantage of this technology and record your entire speech while you're practicing. Once you finish, you can look over your recording and analyze your performance. Think about what you did well and what parts you can practice again. Rehearse in front of someone. The best way to get comfortable with giving speeches is by giving them to a smaller audience, even if it's, even if it's just one other person. Getting used to someone listening and watching you as you speak would help you feel comfortable. At the end of your speech, invite your audience to give feedback on your performance. Make use of the stage. Make use of the stage, especially if you are presenting in front of a, or a large audience. Use the space to your advantage by walking slowly throughout the presentation. The slight movements will engage your audience because their eyes naturally follow you. Changing your position will also allow other sections of the audience to see you better. And the last one, anticipate questions and prepare answers. Most likely, a few audience members will have questions regarding your speech Think of some items you might receive. Then write down answer to them and practice saying them out loud. Although your speech ends with your final point, your presentation continues with answering questions. So you want to be prepared for this portion as well. Okay. okay. Nice. Uh, anybody has a question for Rosa Elena? Very good, interesting topic. I mean, uh, it's difficult sometimes to speak in front of yeah. a large we have audience. To, we, have to we have to prepare. We don't know if 
one day we are going to <laughs> give a speech in front of many audience, but it, I think that are good, good suggestions. For example, a look in a mirror, a record the, it's, it's, it's true, you, you need to record the, the voice, the sound of the voice, because sometimes the voice is, what do you say, quebrada. Breaks, breaking up. Yeah, when, when, when sometimes we speak in front of the public, our voice change, maybe some, some, some people look like they're going to cry. I, I, I see that kind of people talking in, in front of many audience, and I say, oh my God, he, he's going to cry. But uh, there are some tips that are interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, it's very important because, I mean, as we said before, also, we are different, right? Sometimes we are good for some part of this or some other things. Um, or sometimes we are good to speak, but, uh, I mean, for example, we were speaking about gestures, right, and body language. Everything is important in a presentation. So even the, the appearance, the way that you are going to dress, the attire, right, so that is very important. Thank you very much. Uh, who wants to be the next one? We still have a few. Okay. Uh, ah, here she comes. Go ahead, Patricia. You are the one. Okay. <laughs> um, among the things that I like to do and that I do in my spare time. Spare? Spare, yeah. First, I like to read as long as it's a good read. I am not very good. I remember authors, but currently I have dedicated myself to reading and collecting books. For this particular assignment, you'll mention one of my eight book collection. It is called Trojan, Trojan Horse. Mm -hmm. Trojan Horse, okay. And reading by JJ Benitez. It is a science fiction book and it follows a story of dealing with a project related to a time machine in which the protagonist decides to travel on the time of Jesus and find out for sure what happened in his last day. Part of the event that, that are mentioned in the books are part of the historical, historical? So, yeah. historical traveling, such as the last super, the passion and the date of Jesus, and finally, the resurrection of Jesus. It was very curious of the first book came into hand into, into my hands. I found it by change because it had been lent to my sister. After that, I started to read it and it caught my attention so much that I read it so fast that that that's how I started to make the collection. My niece, niece mm -hmm. and nephew mm -hmm. we give, give the, me two or three books and that collection. And I'm trying to finish my collection soon, but I don't think I'll do it in time shortly because so far the author has published 12 books. And another activity that I like to do is take care 
of my little garden, and which I can mention that I have two small three, trees. Trees. Mm -hmm. um, they are very special, and I have to take care of them since they were just some seeds, and today they are so big, strong, and healthy. One is a tree of fire that appeared in the garden because a long time ago, like um, 12, 13, 13 years ago. I had a dog that got gone blind and she liked to play with the pole of the three because the tree because it made a particular song that she liked and when he and when she three it for me to bring into it to me she was guided by the songs that he pulled make but when the dog got bored with the toys she destroyed them at that how the seeds were left in the garden. I have taken care of the tree and we have tried to create a bonsai with him. I, uh, he has not given me flowers, but he remembered me a lot here, here. And it's uh, special for me. I have taken care of of that tree, and we have tried to create a bonsai. And you know, the other tree is a baby lemon. It is important to me because he is the bravest tree on my garden because the speed, the fact that on two occasions for health reasons at different times. I left it forgotten. Forgotten. He never died. I really thought this that this that it had already dried up. But one day I remember here and looked for him. He has almost with rain with her, with her. So I changed its place and begin to take care of it today without grading to it to it's a more almost a bonsai it's a look so cute no what is and finally among other things that like to do is to help squid free animals especially those in cats i have collaborated in the castron castration Construction? Yeah. And yes. sterilization of kittens and take care of them after their operation and thus find them a family that loves them as part of that love of animals. I have to say that our pets are sweat. We have two female cats, one male and one female dog. We really take care of them and we have fun with our daily occurrence. Okay, very good, amazing. It's interesting everything that you like to do. So it's, it's very interesting and uh, I hope someday we can watch the, the trees and the, the garden and the other things. I have never read that book, so also I'm going to look for that. So it's, it's interesting as well. Thank you very much. Okay. Anybody has a question for Patricia? Okay. Uh, who wants to be the next one? That's the question. Hey, just a few I'll go, yeah. go ahead. I tried. <laughs> okay. 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 
Uh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Maria. <laughs> Try. Um, a moment. <laughs> Perfect. We can see that. See that. Yeah. Well, it's in the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, in my work, uh, many years ago, uh, we take um. We learning about the paleas and uh, space, uh, all the networks. Uh, this night, I want to share it a little of, of the space and benefits uh, that you see in, in your foods every day. Um, why uh, natural season are better than a store but uh, one using a uh, natural season in cooking um, has numerous uh, benefits over a store boat uh, we maybe know a store boat with um, also my continent that uh, on my is this story boat. Uh, firstly, uh, natural seasons uh, are for are free for from artificial addi additives and preservatives that can be harmful to health. Secondly, uh, natural seasons and offer a uh, fresh and more intense flavors compared to their processed uh, counterparts. And, and you can use that is the better for you. Uh, some people like uh, the chipili, other people like uh, the onion, other garlic, and um, uh, each one is different and you can use it in your food. And thirdly, uh, making natural season at home, always of greater control over the ingredient used, and suiting that only best quality and fresh it, produce it and use it. Uh, be using a natural uh, season in your cooking, you can elevate the tasty uh, of your dishes and enjoy uh, Hitler, Hitler meals without compromising on 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 flavor. And the basic of making natural season, making natural season. At home is easy and requires only a few basic principles. The first step is to use fresh ingredients uh, that you can uh, use. I say someone, uh, for example, um, GP Lee, uh, always. Uh, I don't remember how do you say aroma. <laughs> smell. The smell. Uh, the smell, the chipilin, uh, is alone in the time you can uh, take a, um, in, a, in a bottle and always take the 
the smell um, is such as herbs, spices, and vegetables uh, that are in season. This ensure, ensures that the flavors are the peak and adds natural uh, sweetness and aroma to this seasoning. The second step is to avoid using uh, artificial additives and MSG or hard fructose or syrup. Um, the syrup, you can use um, sugar and water in equal uh, parts in cooking you obtain syrup. By following this basic principle, uh, you can create delicious natural season that are both healthy and flavor, flavorful. Mm, simple natural season and recipes to try at home. Uh, is better, you can use uh, Give me a moment. You can use a bottle of the glass for preserve better the smell. Um, it is a spot. The tips for storing natural season. Uh, Proper storage uh, is important to maintain freshness and flavor of natural uh, seasoning. Here are a few tips. Store in a cool, dry place, always from direct sweet light and hot source. Maybe, um, I don't know how we say in English. A la cena. Um, uh, I don't remember. There's a word for that, but just don't remember. But go ahead. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new word. It, this a cupboard. Cupboard. A la cena. Cupboard. Okay. And the idea is the place need a fresh, knowing the a hot. A place in a fresh place, um, in a bottles of the glass is the better, um, for preserving the smell and the colors. Well, some colors. Uh, using natural season in your cooking, natural sea seasoning. <laughs> can be used in a variety of dishes to add flavors and dips. Here are um, some ideas. Add garlic, add the herbs, seasoning, roasted vegetables, or extra brush or for off flavors. Sprinkle lemon, paper, seasoning on garlic, chicken, or fish. For a zesty kick, use a um, taco seasoning in ground beef for flavor and easy week, weeknight dinner. Uh, by important natural season in your cooking, you can take your dishes or to the next level and impress your family and friends with your culinary uh, skills. And the last conclusion, uh, using natural seasoning in your cook uh, is a simple and effective way to enhance the flavor uh, of your dishes will also prompting uh, good health, healthy. Uh, by following the basic principles, 
of making natural seasoning, um, experimenting with different herbs and spices, and property storing your seasoning. You can create delicious and healthy uh, meals that are sure impressed. Uh, oh, is it is it all? Is all? Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, very interesting. Yes, natural flavors. I mean, it are important when you're cooking because it's going to give a little difference in the taste, right? Very good. Anybody has a question yes. for Mariana? No questions. Good. Last one is going to be Gloria Linares. Uh, okay, okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, excuse me. No worries. I did, I did really prepare a presentation okay. of my work. <laughs> it's more of um, a personal hobby. Of course. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Moment, please. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Okay. I share a sample of uh, my value collection. Okay. I have been uh, a scout since I uh, was a child. I have learning my many abilities and skill. And every day I strive, strive, strive to do what our founder has required to us uh, leave this world in a better condition than we found it. I come every three months or go or so. I really like outdoors life and enjoy nature. He is Excuse me. After this summary, I want to share that one of the hobbies I have is collecting a scout budget, budget and scarves. In my collection, I have around 25 scarves for different country and maybe 300 badges or patches from national and international events in which I have participated. In order that I exchange with uh, other collection, uh, no, collectors, collectors, excuse me. At the moment, I am president of the collector circle of El Salvador. He, we are people who collect different items, such as coins, stamp, key, Buckles, and we are going to an event in Mexico in October with collectors from Latin America, hoping to obtain the headquarters in our country for the years 2025. That is, that is all. Amazing in my end. That is very good. I really liked it. So very good. Thank you for sharing that one. So I, I was checking all the, the patches and uh, it's very interesting. You know, it's very good. Thank you, Gloria, for, for sharing us. Okay. Okay, my friends. Uh, well, we don't have time for more, but uh, it was very interesting. You know, the vocabulary or, and to hear what you show. Very good. I like Fridays because you are the ones that are the stars. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance and go to bed. And next week is the last week for this module, of course. So remember to keep on moving with the platform because uh, by Thursday next uh, week, we need to finish everything. Let's see then. Ah, Patricia Linares Galdamas. Sure. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Uh, not here. Okay. Uh, Alejandra Michelle Wilson Najera. 
Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Gloria. Ah, ok. Good. Uh, Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher, good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Piñate Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Silvio Soleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good. If somebody didn't present today, you can present on Monday. Okay. So, my friends, see you next Monday and have a very good weekend. Nice to see you and uh, rest very well. Dream in English. Okay. Good night. Have a good weekend. Good night. Have have weekend. Nice... Mm -hmm. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. I am. Can I? I I take um my homework of the platform uh not finished and in the <laughs> and I finish tonight. Okay, that is fine. If you keep on moving, that will be fine. No worries. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Night. Night.